Hank Pickering, Metal Fab Maestro. He is the owner of Backwoods Custom Works in Wolf City. He recently acquired a Triumph. Nope, not this 69 TR6. And, well, not really this one, but you're getting close. Yes, it's this 69 Triumph TR6. And yes, this TR6 does have some work that needs to be done. Already has had extensive modifications. Here's Hank with the owner, Mike. And let's take a very quick look at this beautiful 69 TR6 Resto Mod in progress. Hey, all you wonderful Resto Mod fanatics out there. Hope y'all are doing fantastic. I am Burke. You're watching Road Odyssey. Please subscribe down below. I would appreciate that very much. And in this video, we're talking about the restoration and modification of a 1969 Triumph TR6 owned by Mike. And I will tell you a little bit about the TR6 and Mike getting it and some of the photographs and things that he's provided for me for this video. And then number two, him taking it to... Hank Pickering, the owner of Backwoods Custom Works, a fantastic metal fab guy, not too far from me, really nice dude, does great work. So the car goes to him, and he calls me up, Hank does, says, hey, Bert, let's get out here and start a video on doing the metal fab work for this fantastic car. So that's pretty much part three or so of this video. And so anyway, I want you to know a little bit more about Hank Pickering and Backwoods Custom Works as well. And just letting you see what this car looks like at the moment. So consider this part one. We should have part two um, during and possibly once some of this metal fab work is completed. So be expecting part two. So again, if you like this kind of thing, please subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. We work very hard to provide you with this sort of stuff. So with that, let's get into it. Let's start with a little bit of background on the Triumph TR6. The Triumph TR6 is a sports car built by British Triumph Motor Company between late 68 to 1976. Uh, the bodywork was very similar to its predecessors, the TR4 and TR5, but the front and back ends were squared off. It was the best seller of the TR series. This car was powered by a Triumph 2.5 liter straight six. It had a four speed manual transmission. It had what was called the traditional frame, 15 inch wheels, bucket seats, and full instrumentation. The brakes were disc at the front and drums at the rear. The beginning of a resto mod. I'm gonna go over some of these modification details that were done by Mike before he took the car in to Hank Pickering's for metal fab work. First mods are pretty obvious. He took out the engine and removed all of the interior. Mike sent me this list of the modifications, so let's try to get through this real quick. It now has a Chevrolet 2017 LT1 5.3 engine with stock pistons and stock crankshaft. But the heads were ported. He replaced the cam with a GPI Stage 3 cam and refitted with AFM Delete Lifters. You might notice up top, it has an MSD Atomic Air Force Air Intake Manifold. And this is the new Tremec Magnum 6-speed transmission. The chassis is from Seneker Performance. The chassis has QA1 coilovers, and the rack is from Strange as well. Winters quick change rear end with Strange axles. Willwood brakes all around. 
There are several other modifications like in the wiring, but these are the wheels that he intends to get for this car. And this is a quick look at the rear end uh, that he's trying out with this thing. Time to introduce Hank Pickering. Hank Pickering is the owner of Backwoods Custom Works in Wolf City, Texas. Not too far from Leonard, Celeste, Commerce, Cooper, Ladonia, Paris, etc., etc. So this is the kind of the northeast side of Dallas. I did a prior video of Hank working on a Camaro. Consider checking that out. He has his own Facebook page that you can learn some from. And he does have a YouTube channel as well, though he's so busy it's hard for him to maintain at this time. He does enjoy sharing his work very much and hopes in the future to have a series of Metal Fab How to Do It videos on his YouTube channel. The TR6 arrives at Hank's. I got this candid photograph of Mike on the left and Hank on the right with the TR6 as it is right now. When the car arrived at Hank's shop, he promptly posted this little item on Facebook. As you can see, there will be a lot of metal fab work on this car. Real quick, I'm just going to show you here some of the photographs from Hank and Mike of the rust damage all around this car, especially along the rockers. When I showed up, Hank gave me a unveiling of the TR6 and this was really a lot of fun. It will not be keeping these wheels although you can expect it to have some very hefty wheels for racing as well as nice large fenders that will encapsulate those wheels. Now the other point to this car is imagine it looking very much like a Shelby Cobra but the exact details of these appearances have not been ironed out completely. Here I'm just giving you another feel for this car from front to back. It is amazing. Up front, he intends of connecting to the throttle body a snorkel style air intake. Now this will only be run in good weather. At the moment, it was not decided exactly how to re-sculpture the firewall and these little platforms back behind the engine. You can see up front there is plenty of room for cooling, the radiator, all that jazz. The Willwood master brake cylinder fits very nice. Of course it's got to be smaller because of the wheel well and the proportioner fits just perfectly right there next to it. Just a quick shot of the steering knuckle as it sneaks past the engine and the exhaust manifolds. Just some fun shots of the exhaust from the wheel well. Here's another look at that Tremec six-speed transmission. That will be very nice. And those are the intended exhaust tips. I couldn't resist a fun picture of the X-pipe as it exists right up under that drive shaft. Another quick scan of the interior. You know it's going to need metal work from the dash, doors, floors, rear, all that good jazz. Just a shot of the rockers after having some metal work done on them so that this thing could have that interior uh, tubing cage and all that jazz so that this thing could be transported and worked on properly. Now there's a lot of work going on on the rear. It's got to be re, I guess, fitted and partially redesigned for the larger fenders. And you can see the gaps in the back so that you can fit this whole tail in uh, where, you know, the exhaust will be coming out, the license plate, the lights and all that. So kind of some shots of this. And then also a look at there is going to be a rear duckbill spoiler applied to this. Well, that's enough for now. Let's end this thing. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. 
Please subscribe. I appreciate that as well. Look for Hank Pickering. Find his YouTube channel, Facebook page, and friend him and subscribe to his channel. He really does fantastic work. He has the desire in the future to put together a series of Metal Fab videos that will teach you or anybody else who might be interested in doing Metal Fab work or repairs on their own cars or friends' cars, whatever the case may be. So anyway, hope you all have had a fantastic time watching this video. Please relax, take it easy, and I will see you later. Bye.